from begging fans to let the Sons of Anarchy go, to him being excited about Season 5 being the last one. Here's why J.D. Parta told fans not to try and save Mayans MC. The show doesn't need any saving. Yep, that's right. There's no reason to feel upset if your favorite show in the entire world is ending. What's even worse is how we can't do anything but sit and watch while we wait for the funeral of our beloved. It was so hard to let go of this show. I'm sure this goodbye will hurt even more. But we've got to listen to the main man. Reyes himself has asked us to hold our horses, or bikes? JD Parta doesn't want us to start any petitions on social media, like any sane fan of a show would in this situation. Because this situation just might be different. The decision to end the show wasn't made on a whim, or at least that's what fans have been told. Parta took to his Twitter to comfort heartbroken viewers, who were on the verge of making this a viral issue. He's called it a creative decision, and everyone was in on it. Even when his fans called this decision a mistake, he stood by it and defended it wholeheartedly. After all, the actor has had his fair share of abrupt endings. The poor guy's gotten kicked off of shows before for an easy way out. But the end of Mayans MC is nothing like that. He's happy about it, and just grateful for the opportunity to lead such a great show. I'm sure he's happy about this graceful exit too. It sure wasn't a sudden change. Would you believe me if I told you the end had been planned out more than a year ago? I wouldn't believe it myself either, but that's the truth. Showrunner Elgin James actually knew how the show was going to end before Season 3 aired. He just didn't know how long it would take for them to get there. It could have been 15 seasons too, but we just didn't get that lucky. Around the time that they were shooting Season 4, he had a realization that would change the course of the show forever. He finally figured out where and when the Mayans Road would end. Of course, in the very next season, he has a literal vision of what he wanted the final shot to be. It just took him a little bit of time to place that shot. The guy even added that they'd been heading toward that ending for some time now. And as they got closer, it only became clearer. Now I'm racking my brains, but I can't figure out what he's talking about. If the show's been heading there for a while, can you guess what the end could be? I'm sure of one thing though. What they've got in store for us will leave our mouths hanging. Why do I think so, you ask? James was scared of saying it out loud, and if that doesn't give you goosebumps, maybe the cast reactions will. So once he had it all figured out, the showrunner shared his ideas with the cast, and what do you know? They were instantly obsessed. Parta gushed about the ending in an interview with Variety. The 42-year-old actor talked about how excited he was about the finale that James had in mind. Not only was he happy to be part of the team bringing that to life, he's excited for us to see it as well. Of course, he didn't share any details that would give away so much as a little crumb of what's to come, but he did say one thing. There is no other way. Pretty ominous, right? To me, it sounds like something drastic is about to happen, and I'm already getting anxious just thinking about it. What's more, he's not the only one who's been impressed with James's vision for the finale. Clayton Cardenas took the liberty to speak for everyone during his conversation with Variety, and it's all good news. Everyone's happy with the ending especially the way the show has come together toward the end. It's going to be artistic and satisfying. Everyone from the cast to the crew has put a lot of love and effort into this final season, and they all get where their fans are coming from when they complain about the ending. But, according to him, it's the full arc that matters. As sad as I am about the show ending, I have to agree with him on this one. Dragging shows on forever is much worse than a quick and neat end. At least with the latter, you always have fond memories of the show. Tell me one good example of a long show that didn't lose the plot. I bet you can't. And hey, we can always rewatch the show happily. In the meantime, let's talk about the trailer. It's been almost a year since the crazy season 4 finale, so a recap is in order first. We can't talk about the finale if we don't start with Easy and how he shocked the club by pulling a major power move. He activated the kill switch in the Mayans charter and took over as the new president kicking out Marcus. Talk about being bold, right? His first plan of action as the new Prez was to strike a deal with the cartel queen Soledad. He agreed to help her move a huge stash of heroin, and sadly, this whole coup thing drove a wedge between him and his brother Angel. I call it sad because it's heartbreaking when his brother realizes that Easy has changed so much, he's not the same boy scout he used to be. So things are tense between them. That's something you'll want to keep in mind. Now let's get to the juicy stuff. The trailer starts on a pretty ominous note. 
there's a lot of tension building up between Easy's crew at Santo Padre MC. Casualties are piling up, and the new Prez himself admits that he's in winner-takes-all kind of confrontation. He's straight up telling his guys that they're in a war they have to win. Talk about high stakes. This whole conflict has him going up against Isaac Packer, also known as the King of Meth Mountain, and of course his crew, the Sons of Anarchy. Their feud is reaching a boiling point, and we can feel the tension oozing out of the short trailer. As if he doesn't have enough on his plate already, he also has to deal with his skeptical brother, who's not exactly on board with all of his decisions. Remember that growing distance I talked about? It's going to end up in a nasty confrontation soon enough. To top it off with a big fat cherry, Easy's got to deal with a pest infestation. That's right, the Mayans have a mole in their ranks, and here's the thing. Packer's out there getting excited about battling the Mayans. He tells Easy that he won't leave until someone dies. Pretty intense for a trailer. This is just the showrunners warning us about the bloodshed that's about to go down. You can't just think about defeating the Suns without some seriously gory violence involved. Oh, and someone does end up dying. The trailer shows the gang walking out with a coffin raised over their heads. The question is, who's in the box? The fan theories on this one are crazy. Let's get to the most insane one first. A revolt's about to happen within the Mayans, and it's going to be led by none other than Angel. He's going to pull a classic kill my brother and get the throne. That's not where it ends though. The fans suggested that after this classic betrayal, they get pulled out of the drug business and into the real world. Sounds pretty tragic, but also somewhat believable. On the other end of the spectrum, we've got a sweet reunion between the brothers. Who wouldn't love to see these two hash out their problems and fight the sons together? It's no surprise that fans are dying to see them reconnect. But at this point, there's no knowing what will happen between them. Some fans seriously believe that Angel set fire to the factory, after Alvarez told him to do so. But this last one is the craziest so far. The informant is none other than Easy. According to this fan, Creeper is going to catch wind of him being an informant while he was in prison, and all hell's going to break loose when he tells the club about it. Whichever direction Season 5 takes, Parta can't wait for us to see it. We might not know which of these crazy fan theories could come true, but maybe we won't have to. Parta has been as excited as any of us ever since he found out about the season's finale. And though he's great at keeping his lips sealed, I can tell that it's about to be something unbelievable. Not only did he and the cast enjoy filming the final season, he's been dying to share this with us. So there you have it. From being excited about season 5 being the last one, to begging fans to let the Sons of Anarchy go. That was why JD Parta told fans not to try and save Mayans MC.